we, as a covenant church, we, we have two options when it comes to the babies that we have in the congregation. And how we handle it basically depends on the choice of the parents. In the covenant church, we believe that parents are the primary spiritual caretakers of their children. And so sometimes we baptize babies. And that stands in the, in the tradition of sacramentalism, of God calling people um, before we're able even to respond to them. Uh, Sometimes we dedicate children, and that's what we're going to do today. And uh, dedication has a rich history um, in the tradition of the church and throughout the scriptures. And so it is fun to be able to do that this morning. But wherever we stand as believers, we're called to recognize that, that our children belong first and foremost to God. In 1 Samuel 1, it tells us that Hannah presented her son Samuel to the Lord. And in Luke 2.22, we read that Mary and Joseph brought their baby Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem in order to present him before the Lord. And in the same way, our friends Chris and Kirsten Gothel today are going to bring their son Jude, presenting first themselves and then their son before the Lord. So if you guys want to come up and join me here. By the way, the fact that they sit separately in church is not a comment on their marriage, just... <laughs> Do you want to turn and face your grandfather so you can get the picture? I'm going to take him out of the way. All right. I know what's important in these ceremonies. Kirsten and Chris, you are offering your son to the strong and tender providence of God and to the nurture of the church. We rejoice with you and give thanks for the gift of your son, Jude. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, a passage which you know well, um, it is written, Listen, Israel. The Lord our God is the only true God. So love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and strength. Memorize his laws and tell them to your children over and over again. Talk about them all the time, whether you're at home or walking along the road or going to bed at night or getting up in the morning. Kristen Kirsten, in bringing Jude to God, you're also consecrating yourselves to God. And so I have a series of questions to ask you. Do you receive this child with gratitude as God's gift to you and your family? If so, would you answer, we do. Do you commit to each other as parents to keep your marriage relationship strong and to create a stable environment in which your child can mature? Do you commit to be people of personal faith, recognizing your children are more likely to follow Jesus by the model they first observe in you? Do you commit to lead a faith-filled home that honors God in all your relationships and in the choices you make in spiritually growing your family? Do you commit to be parents with patience, recognizing that with your inherent strengths and weaknesses, your desire to shape your child is a loving act that will require time, prayer, and God in order to produce in your children what he and you hope for? Do you promise to do everything you can through the example of your words, actions, and priorities, to encourage your child to become a true disciple of Jesus. And on behalf of the congregation, we promise with humility and seriousness to share in Jude's spiritual upbringing and care. We will, with God's help, be examples of what it means to love God with all of our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Our prayers will be with you and for you. And our strongest desire is to support you in such a way that Jude early chooses to follow Jesus as his Savior and Lord. Congregation, if this is your commitment with me, would you say amen? Amen. You'll notice on the um, communion table today that there is a candle. Uh, Candles in churches always represent the presence of God and the light of Christ. And this candle will recall the day that Jude was presented to God. And uh, Chris and Kirsten intend each day, each birthday of Jude's to light the candle to remind him of his dedication. I'll leave you focused out the people so they can see you. Jude, because Jesus said, they're still there. Because Jesus said, let the little children come to me for to such belong the kingdom of God. We present you to God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you.
man, you messed up the blessing. Uh, where was I? The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. And now, um, let's uh, pray together. But I'd like to invite you, if you're comfortable, to stand and then maybe to extend an arm out as we pray for, pray for Jude. It's all good. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for the gift of Jude to the Gothel family and to us <laughs> and to us as a church body. Uh, we thank you for the joy that he has brought to Kirsten and Chris and Johan and the joy that he brings to us. God, we pray for Kirsten and Chris as parents that you would give them patience and grace and faithfulness and uh, that in the lives that they lead, uh, that Jude would see your character in them and would early choose to be a disciple of his. God, we pray for Johan as he is a big brother, that he may love Jude well, and that as he, no, don't put that in your mouth, and as he, as he loves God and loves people, that he would be a great example to his little brother. And God, we stand with them. And uh, we also commit ourselves to, uh, to being great examples of Jesus. So now, God, may your blessing reside upon Jude and Johan and Chris and Kirsten. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. You can be seated.